Okay, in this video we're going to go over how to create flowcharts and how to use the elements of a flowchart. Um, this video is to prepare you for when we're actually going to start programming using flowchart elements with our programming software we're using in this course. Okay, so starting off, by definition a flowchart is a schematic representation of an algorithm or a process. Okay, so if we follow this it should be pretty straightforward. We're going to start here on the left. We're going to check our dog food bowl. Is the bowl empty? If it is, we're going to pour food into the bowl and stop. If the bowl is not empty, we well, would come out this way. We would skip over this step and go straight to stop. Okay, This is just a graphical representation of this process. Okay, And this is how our robo -pro -pro programming software will work um, in the next unit. Okay, So starting off, we've got the different parts of a flowchart. We've got a start and end, a process block, input and output block, decision block, arrows and then a display block and going through each one of these individually our start and end block it's going to be a rounded rectangle shape it's going to a start is required for all flowcharts okay some flowcharts might not have an end okay but all flowcharts will have a start so when we get into programming with this make sure you always have a start icon in your programming and again you might not have an end the program or the process might loop continuously forever until you stop the program. But for right now, all programs will have to have a start. Then we've got a process block. It's a rectangular shape. And it's going to be the verb of the flowchart. This is when you're doing something. Okay. Um, some examples would include if I'm adding one, if I'm turning a motor on, if I'm turning a light off, or if I'm rotating a part. And then we've got an input and output. The shape's going to be a parallelogram. It indicates that a manual operation is needed. Okay, so this examples could be typing in a weight, checking the balance, timing an operation, waiting for an input, etc. And then we've got a decision branch or a decision block. This is going to be a rhombus shape. It's going to have an outcome of yes or no, uh, zero or one, true or false, so on and so forth. Examples could include: Is this number larger than ten? Does it? Does the weight meet specifications? Has the count been reached? And then we've got arrows. They're pretty straightforward. They're going to indicate the flow of a flowchart, so you're going to follow these arrows. They're going to be drawn from the output of one block to the input of another block. Only one arrow can represent an output, but you can have multiple arrows representing inputs. So an example. We're going to count from 1 to 9 by odd numbers. Okay. So we want to determine what our output wanted, wants, what we want our output to be before we even attempt to draw our flowchart. Okay, what's going to be the first block? Always. Remember, that's going to be our start block. Okay. The output's going to be 1, 3, 5, and 7, and 9. The start block, again, is going to always be first. And the program is going to begin with the number 1. So input 1. Now that there's a number, the program will state the number. Say number. The number 2 will be added to 1 so that the program will continue to count by odd numbers only. So start, input 1, say the number, add 2. Then we're going to add a decision block to our program so that we can tell if the number is greater than 9. So is the number greater than 9? If not, we're going to loop back up and say the number again. If it is greater than 9, we can end our program. So starting it out and going from the beginning, we're going to start, input 1, say the number. We have 1. Add 2, that's going to give us 3. Is 3 greater than 9? No. So go back up, say the number again, 3. Add 2, that'll give us 5. Is 5 greater than 9? No. And we'll keep looping in this circle. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where our number is greater than 9, and it'll just, instead of going out this no branch, it'll go out the yes branch here, and it'll end the program or in the flowchart. So, your turn. I want you guys to create a flowchart that shows you how to pour a glass of milk. Okay? And you can do this on your note sheet that fills out with this PowerPoint.